What's going on, radicals? It's your boy, man, back at it again, man. You see me and I'm, I'm in a different collar shirt, man. I'm on lunch right now. So that's how I'm letting y'all know that I'm committed. Back in it. You feel me? I just rhyme. Now we about to get right back into the B and the D. Bad. I'm gonna start calling it bad because you already know how YouTube is. YouTube done turned this into like a damn near Nickelodeon. You know what I'm saying? Nick too. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right up into this, bro. Um, I ain't got too much time, but I'm gonna give y'all video. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all some. So we out here. What we gonna do? You already know what I'm gonna do, bro. Why would I say goodbye, bro? Huh? <laughs> you know we ain't wait. This is the first time I've ever seen her. So I'm gonna ask her out, you dig? Maybe I shouldn't do this, but I can't help it. Yo, Ryan. That's why I gave you my name. I could even help it my damn self too. It's a wide open opportunity. She ain't passing up. She let us spot. You already know for a fact. Do you wanna exchange numbers and you know, maybe we can go on a little date? You know what I'm saying? What's she gonna say? Nor, for what? So I can get to know you, Nor? So we can see what we can be. You know what I'm saying? We might be able to be something real special. You know? That's why I want to exchange numbers. You already know what the deal is. I don't even know why you even fronting, bruh. You could call me if you need someone to squat behind you again, you know? Or, you know, when you're doing the bench press, make sure you don't fall on, you know, you don't want to, you don't want too much pressure falling on his chest, you know what I'm saying? Too much pressure falling on that chest, you might bust some. I, I need to be there to help you, Nora. Maybe we'll run into each other here again for that. She playing hard to get. Well, yeah, but I wasn't talking about the gym. <laughs> You've got humor, and that tickled me right. I know some other things that might tickle you right, Nora. You know what I'm saying? The joke, not you. You know, not the glizzy. Okay, let me have it. Yo, who? Who? Hold on, hold on. Rusty? In the in the vert, the top down. Hold on, bro. I gotta forgot. I forgot his his pops. Damn near run the school. You know what I'm saying. So, but that's a nice ass vert. I ain't gonna lie. This semester blows. Tommy said. Rest, yeah, but it's not over yet. It's just beginning. Remember the early days? How our biggest problem was to make people come to our parties. Damn, probably passing off like, yo, come to the party, come to the party. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be like. The, 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 the man to woman ratio be like 10 to 1. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's probably what the problems they were dealing on the early stages. Yeah, what a weird struggle. I don't remember how many doing parties we had to go to before we knew enough people to host one ourselves. This means you always got to start from the bottom, bro. Even though it's not looking like the best option or it's not looking right. You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep on pursuing, keep on pushing, and eventually you're going to get there. Not that many. And they were fun. It's always in the in the uh, in the in the struggling stages, right? When you're having the most fun, in the struggling stages where, you know, all you have is dreams. You're like, damn, the rush is down. Like, you're not as happy as as you was grinding for that. You know what I'm saying? They don't beat our parties though. These days they do. At least they have theirs. If you want to blow off some steam, you can go to one. There's one this weekend actually. Yeah, I know, but it's not that. It feels like everything has changed. Tommy, what you mean? What you mean? Talk to me, Tommy. Not only the mansion, but the hots too. That's a fact. We in the new mansion. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we got the hots acting different. You talk to Quinn again? Yeah, I tried. And what she say, my boy? Nah, it's not going to be the same between us. All right, so what is going on here? This is looking like a nice AMG top down. And then it's starting to look like a Mazda. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't know what, what's, come, what's going on here, bruh. Is it a Mazda or is it a Mercedes? Nine times out of ten, it's a Mercedes. You know what I'm saying, though. Now nah, it's not going to be the same between us. How about you try a little bit harder? Oh. Oh. I tried my best. No offense, but you're not the best when it comes to making apologies. Yeah, you you gotta write that. You write about that, Rusty. Tommy is not the best when it comes to apologies. He does not like to apologize. Sometimes you gotta be the bigger person. Say you're sorry. But when you say I'm going to be the bigger person and apologize, that just makes the apology not as genuine. You know what I'm saying? We say, yo, I'm going to be the bigger person and apologize. When you say it like that, it's not as genuine as you would say, you know what? I apologize. I know that I was wrong. I know it was my fault. And I just want to squash this. You know what I'm saying? So go. you want to go to the route where you're not using the bigger person. Maybe you're sure that you're sorry about all of it. She will come around. <sighs> you just don't get it. Well, I think she might get it. 
I'm thinking. I don't see you trying that with your dad. Oh, I don't see you trying that with your dad. Oh, Tommy flipped it. Tommy flipped it. So how about you try that with your pops, man? What? What you? What are you talking about, Tommy? Um, did you even bring up the windows again? No, I told him I'd take care of it, and I am. I'm not so sure about that. We're busting our asses daily, but we're still living in a dump. Don't be like that. It's not a dump. The windows are expensive, and I feel that we're getting closer every day. Mm-hmm. What's your plan B? What plan B? If we can't afford it, then what? Can you pay out of your pocket? See, Tommy wants it done. Like, you know, your pops got all this money. So why don't we just come over here? Just pop, apologize to your pops so he could just pay for it. Rusty, on the other hand, is like, you know what? Come on, a grown ass man. This is my responsibility. You know what I'm saying? I want to handle it on my own. I don't want to go running to pops. Like, pops, I need this. I need that. And pay, he wants to do it on his own. He wants to grind. He probably was spoon fed growing up. And he said, you know, that's, that's, a, it's enough. It's time for me to be Rusty the man, not Rusty. Let me go run to my pops to get a problem solved. I don't know. You might feel like Ryan has it, got it under control, but he's guessing a lot. Hold on, hold on. don't throw me in the mix. Cause I'm guessing a lot. Doesn't mean I'm wrong. I come from the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Living with, 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 with a single dad, I had the struggle, you know, I know. And we can come out of this. As long as we believe that we can come out of this, as long as we believe that we can make this mansion the best mansion, as long as we put our mind to it, anything is possible. I don't even think he has a ballpark figure of what it costs to fix the window. We need a plan B. That's all I'm saying. Of course you want an easier way than working for it. You've been negative since the start. See, Rusty knows the picture. Rusty gets it. Like, you want it easier? It's easier for me to ask the pops, you know, come fix these windows, you know what I'm saying? Pass the bread to uh, Rusty, get the windows fixed. Instead of working hard and be like, yo, we actually worked hard and actually got these windows fixed with no, without asking for no nothing. You know what I'm saying? He probably been asking his pop for everything. To get everything fixed, you know, it comes a time where you're gonna have to get cut off. It comes a time where the pops ain't always gonna be there. And you wanna have to like figure out, you know, I gotta do this on my own. Gotta stop asking. Negative. I'm realistic here. I'm not a lot these days. I'm out here with the rest of you doing my best. Well, we don't need a plan B. And if we do need a plan B, we'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? We a brotherhood. We'll at least we got each other. Whatever you say, I'll stop giving you my advice if you're going to shut it down. You can drop me off here. Oh, Tommy, mad. He in his feelings. F boy in his feelings. I want your opinion, Tommy. You know I do. But have some faith. This will work. Popped in tomorrow, bro. He like. <laughs> this will work. It just. It has to work. See that face right there? You know, Rusty having a little bit of doubt. That's that face of a little bit of doubt, but a little bit of faith. He's kind of like in, in between. We're all set then, Lily says. Yes, but we're starting small. Not too small, I hope. It's better to do a few big orders and a bunch of small ones. I don't want to be questioned about this. We're doing it my way. In my eyes, you're just another customer. Got it? Quinn says it's my way or the highway. Get with it or get left. I got it. You're the boss. I'll sell to you. And you could do whatever you want with it. I don't even want to know where it's going. You don't mention me to your friends. And you don't even say where you got it from. Or this deal is off. Do you get that? Oh, so Quinn, Quinn talking about being a plug. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't say my name. Don't don't bring me up with nothing. Whatever I dish out to you, you on your own. You know what I'm saying? When you finally start trusting me more, you're going to feel like such an idiot for being this paranoid. You can trust me. And also, you already know who it's for. So your speech is pointless. You always have an answer, don't you? Do I remind you of someone? It's like we're sisters and you're the younger and annoying one. We are sisters. And I'm not stupid. I'm not looking to get any of us caught. Since Lily's been a quote unquote spicy dancer, I think she learned something in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I think at one point she was naive. I mean, she appears to be naive. I think Quinn is looking like, yo, this is what is this young blonde chick? What she know about the streets? You know what I'm saying? What she know about this? And Deep down inside, Lily's like, you know what? I'm not as naive as I look. You feel me? That's what she's saying. So you have nothing to worry about as long as you don't pull another Mona. Another condition. You don't bring that up again. Whoops. Sorry, big sissy. I like that. She said, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mouth is sealed. Hey, sister. Hey. Rihanna, so, you know, Rihanna, so. Well, see ya. Are you selling to her again? Anything you want to tell me? Nothing you don't already know. What's up? 
here. She asked, like, yo, Rihanna has some speculation. You know what I'm saying? Nice work. Any problems? Well, this better be a one-time only price bump. They were pretty pissed. That's expected. That, of course, they pissed. We all pissed. Inflation? Yes, prices going up. Food going up. Can't even call. You trying to get a car? That shit going up, man. Hmm. Chill out. You don't have to worry anymore. Why? Do you know something I don't? Go relax. Have a smoke. I've got things under control. Rihanna, have you seen Ashley? Check her room. I did, but all right. Rihanna, Rihanna was like, hmm, I, I'm left out the mix. Why am I being left out the mix? She don't really like that. Ashley, are you in here? Derek? Sis? Uh, hey, what are you doing here? I thought you hated this place. I came around. I mean, not entirely, but I'm trying to. Did you? Why? I have my reasons. Okay, so what? Are you a hot now or like what's going on here? No, I'm not a hot. I don't know what I am exactly. She's considering it. We're trying to work out the best solution for us. What do you think I should do? Do you really want my opinion? Yeah, I do. I need to hear it from someone else. I get so stuck inside my head sometimes that I can't think clearly. Oh, a lot of people want to hear it from somebody else, but then again, they'll take, they'll receive that information from somebody else and don't even use that information. That shit. So why, what is the point of me even telling you this if you're not even going to use a little bit of it or take in consideration? I think you should do it. You should join them. Are you serious? I told you he say that. He's the opposite of Tommy. Even though you know what they did. Maya, it was part of the hazing. It's how it is in college. I think there's some hazing to each and every brotherhood or sisterhood. You know what I'm saying? There gotta, there gotta be a little bit of, it says there's no hazing, but there's a little bit of hazing. Don't, don't get it twisted. Did worse things to me and Ryan. We had to run naked through the mall and I farted on the cop. Yo, we had to just thug it out. You did what? Those lies they told us weren't part of the hazing. Didn't they apologize to you already? Well, not Quinn. And it's not just about the apology. You know, forget Quinn. You can't get along with everyone. Don't let someone like that stop you from doing something. Come on, sis. You need this. What's that option? To spend the time here alone in your dorm? What college life is that? You'll make friends this way and have a social life. And you'll be a part of all the fun times. Don't you want that? You deserve to have fun. Big brother Derek. I would never even expect that from Derek, bro. I'm going to keep it honest with you. I thought Derek would be like, you know what? Don't join the hots after they did all this and that. But Derek, he's like, you know what? Sis got to have fun. Sis got to have the time of her life. This is a one time, once in a lifetime experience while you're young, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoy it. Just do this. It's just so hard for me. I get it. I do. But I want you to be a part of this. You can do it. I'm with you. Always and ever. Always and ever. Brother and sisterly love. You know what I'm saying? Be fussing, fussing, fight. I got a sister myself. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you just want them to be happy. You want them to have the best life they could possibly have, even though we have our ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? You still, still, still blood. <laughs> hey, where's your jacket? Laundry. So it's getting chilly outside. You're telling me my laundry is rock hard? <laughs> uh, so you're looking for Ashley. Yeah, I talked to her earlier, but we took a break and didn't quite finish. Have you seen her? Did you check in her room? It's in the corridor upstairs, the first door on your right. Yeah, I know, but she's not there. Thanks anyway. He's right, you know. Please tell me that you can see that. I mean, what made you come around in the first place? I've been thinking all week about it. I was so angry and I took it out on you. I forgive you. No, why? I don't know how you put up with me at times. Stop that. You have the right to be angry when you're going through a hard time. And I know how you work by now. Truth be told, I probably wouldn't be here if I didn't talk to Sage. Sage, huh? I know. I've talked to her too. She was asking me about you. Yeah, about that. What did you tell her? Don't get mad, okay? I kind of told her a bit about your problems, but not too much. So that's how she knew. She doesn't know any details, just that you're having some issues with your dad. Well, she knows everything now about my dad, us, and our relationship. What? You told her? I can't explain it, but we had such a good heart to heart. She opened up to me and I felt that I could reciprocate that. And that's amazing because it's only happened with you and Ryan so far. But you told her about us. That's our secret. Hey, don't be scared. She wants to help and I feel like I can trust her. Help with what? Help with what? I think say she's solid. You know what I'm saying? She ain't, if she would have told Quinn all this. I don't know about that. But Sage, I think she a solid one. I can't tell you. I promise her I wouldn't tell anyone. Listen, you have to include me in this. This is not just about you now. I know, but I promised her. Maybe we can talk to her together. We should. She's probably in her room. I hope she won't get upset that I told you. You didn't tell me anything, though, and I'll let you do the talking. Hey, sisters. Good to see you back, Maya. Hi. Uh, I'm not. Thanks. 
and Lily's not here. No, she just left. Come on, I'm yeah, I went to see him, but Derek, I don't know what to do. I want you, Ashley. Um, let's let's talk in my room. I don't know. Open? Did he say that? He probably probably dried her up type shit. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Uh oh, I know that sound. You already know this is my baby right here. This is my baby, Camelia. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna gonna end it on this note, man. It's coming to time. I gotta head back to work. So I'm gonna holler y'all next time.